hello everybody i'm back it seems like i've been away for ages but i haven't i've only been away for like three days <laughs> anyway um i haven't uploaded if you haven't noticed if you haven't noticed then good on you living your best life but if you have noticed and you're wondering why should i tell you guys <laughs> it's nothing mysterious it's nothing you know big basically three days is because my little one liana as you guys may know her cute little baby seven month old yeah she wasn't feeling that great majority of the times the past few days she was on me so when she was napping she was on me that's the time i would usually take to do stuff when she would nap in her own bed in her room but because she wasn't feeling that great as children when they're not feeling that great they're just very clingy so she was on me majority of the time until my husband came and i would push her along <laughs> onto him so you know happens it happens mum life um when kids are not well they have to take priority my kids are my priority way before work way before youtube way before anything else they are my number one obviously you'd be the same if it's your kids so yeah that's why i haven't uploaded the past three days but i'm back i thought i'd just explain to you guys as to why i haven't been uploading the ramadan vlogs and um no they're not cancelled by the way guys if you ever want to ask me anything instagram dms is not the one i have so many they get pushed to the end and then they just start getting deleted so i haven't uploaded day four five six today's day seven it is sunday um we're off out that's why i've got my makeup on i'm looking you know presentable for once and i thought i'd just pick up the camera today because i did actually kind of forget that i was vlogging i was doing ramadan vlogs i'm back yay if you missed me yay if you didn't you know live your life <laughs> anyway i can't believe it's been a whole week of fasting how crazy is that whole week of ramadan gone i haven't been fasting food wise but i've been doing everything else but i can't believe seven days gone just like that subhanallah it is scary before you know it i was saying to my husband the month will be over and everyone will be back to normal <laughs> back to their daily lives back to pre ramadan hopefully not inshallah we um benefit from this month and we try to form habits that will last a lifetime inshallah um that's what i pray for anyway i pray that the habits that i am doing right now like waking up for fajr you know um staying away from arguments trying to control my temper because boy am i not patient well but anyway how are you all doing i hope you're well i hope your fast has been going well i hope you've missed me too much it's a new vlog i'm gonna go to do some food shopping right now that's why i'm dressed up i don't know if i already said that i probably have i've been talking far too long i, I did offer to my husband that i can just go by myself although i don't know if anyone else feels like this but if you haven't left the house for a week by yourself driving do you guys feel nervous to go out into the public like driving in the roads going shops by yourself i feel nervous i feel anxious um so i was low-key hoping he'd say no we'll all come but in the back of my mind i know that it's going to be so difficult to take the kids going in and out of the cars because i've got to go to three different shops aldi asda the meat shop yes darling on the TV. But it's time to go now. So you don't need a turn, okay? Are you hungry? I might make you a sandwich before we leave. Can you have some of my gummies? Yeah. Yay! Come on, can you take that down, please? Thank you. Okay. Right, guys, um, I'll catch you when I catch you. Okay. Bye. last night i actually cleaned out the fridge i don't know if you can even tell it's been cleaned out but yep these two drawers here i actually took them out and washed them and put them there and this morning put it back in but um there we go this is what we have A quick fridge tour before we go food shopping 
We have two tomatoes, a bunch of lemons. Um, the only thing that is well stocked up in this entire fridge right about now is the dairy tray. <laughs> we always have dairy, we always have cheese, butter, yogurts. Always. Yeah, I need to get some milk and all that stuff. But yeah, there we go. Comes to think of it, I'm actually quite hungry. <laughs> and yeah. the worst combination is to go shopping when you're hungry. I do have some pepes though left over, so I might eat that quickly. I don't know, because I really want to get out. I really want to rush out because I fed Leanna like half an hour ago. And I wanted to be fully fed for the time we're out. Is it even possible? I woke up at 7, probably why I'm tired. But um, let's check to make sure that this door's closed. So many times we leave and then we realise we left the garden door open. When we come back home, that's when we realise. Alhamdulillah, there's a safe area, but... You know what guys, once I left the main door open, like it was actually legit open. And I went out, done my Aldi shop and everything, came back. Fully, fully prepared for the worst. I fully thought, yep, TV's gone, everything's gone. Nothing went, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah, nothing happened. But that's why I'm extra careful nowadays. But um, yeah, I think I will just quickly grab something to eat before I leave. Good idea, that. Fully took my food to eat in the car because I don't have time to eat, <laughs> sit down and eat at home. Also got a water bottle somewhere over there. Oh, it's not even a bottle. It's that jar, mason jar thing. It's closed so it won't spill, but there we go. It smells lush in here. Hubby won't be happy me eating the car, but oh well. Yeah. Really, Malik? You're right. Bread! Oh my goodness, I need bread. Never mind, get it from Asda. Oh my god. I gave you the one we went to. Yeah, I have other food, but it's fine. Hmm? Oh. You know the one I got you. It's even better because that's another Pokemon dead. What are we doing though? Tell everyone what we're doing. We just catch one Pokemon. We're catching one, see? Any other Pokemons you have? Yeah. Malik jumped onto the Pokemon bandwagon quite late. Right, Malik? I'll show you what my Pokemon is. Go. Show me what Pokemon you have. That was from Pathetic Oak. Should we see if there's any more Pokemons around here? Mom? Yeah. I feel like Liana is quite tired. Uh, she's whinging. I think she was quite tired before we went inside the food shop. But she did very well. She just sat there chewing on the metal on the push chair. Anyway, successful food shop with two kids, no one crying. Anyway, I don't know where we're going now. Is it Asda? going Asda and then we just need like two three things from there and then we're gonna go meet home first let's take a break are you kidding me yeah look I was gonna say does anyone want to see a hole is it just me or when you drink grape juice it leaves a weird taste in your mouth. Ugh. Anyway, let's put the shopping away. Malik is here, he wants to help apparently. So he's gonna pour this in and there. For me. And very That's it, pick it up. Yeah, no. Perfect. Oh that's for recycling, okay? Here is the progress of the fridge and um, here are all the bags. 
probably to close this because we're going to be here a while. Especially now this one wants to help me. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put all of this stuff away behind me. And then I'll show you what the fridge looks like. Because I'm proud. I've cleaned it yesterday. Can you pass me the popcorn? Okay. You're going to put this in the snack cupboard? Um. Thank you, my little helper. And thank you for helping me, Marley. For me, this has apple and blueberry. How do you know? I oh, it's a picture. picture. Okay, I thought you was reading it for a second there. Okay, picked up these sausages from Asda. They just look really nice and fresh, so I thought I'd pick them up. And I'll show you what I'm going to make with these, inshallah. But for now, everything's going to be in the freezer. So you can last longer. Well, I bought this Sistema bottle from Aldi. And they have a few colours. They have all these colours. Um, I feel like this is bigger than 500 mil. I don't know. But um, I bought a blender, which I'll show you guys when it arrives tomorrow, inshallah. Um, and I'll tell you guys a bit about it. But I bought it from Amazon. So here is the fridge Alhamdulillah for food um, I feel like we always just buy a bunch of fruit and veg there's all the veg in there. I two. put everything in there. There you did, you helped me. And then more veg. Lots of dairy. This whole line here is dedicated to dairy. All this is dairy stuff. Got the butter in there. This bit here is the fruit that goes in the fridge. Obviously, we've got those fruits and uh, the mango that's inside there. But this is just the fruit. And um, some more veg, salmon. Juices, milk, oh my breast milk right at the top lives at the back of the fridge. What else? That's it. Oh yeah, and chicken. This one of the chickens I leave out. One dish that I make in this week I leave out because I don't eat chicken all week. And the rest goes in the freezer. But however, we didn't end up going to the meat shop yet because we wanted to come home and pray and my husband's super tired, bless him. So we only went to Aldi and Asda. Um he's gonna go to the meat shop later on because there's a talk at seven something he's gonna take malik so he's gonna leave at six go do the meat shop and then come back later on as close but i wanted watermelon that's the point of this right so i saw watermelon in aldi and decided let me just get it but it probably won't be that nice i want it to be super sweet so i thought you know what it's okay we'll buy it if it's not super sweet just go get me another one from the meat shop because they have it cut up so you can see the color inside of it so I'm assuming that's not going to be that sweet, but let's check. Let's get it up right now. <laughs> Look what I'm doing, guys. Like, I'm literally rolling it. I can't bother to pick it up. This is laziness. That is finest. <laughs> there we go. How do you do this? This way or that way? I feel like I'm going to get judged so hard. Mm. I'm guessing it's this way. Right, so it looks all right. So you guys can actually see. I don't know. Just as I expected it to be. <laughs> Although it's not that bad for supermarket. Watermelon. But I'm um, definitely going to get my husband to get me the other watermelon. Um, it's alright though, it's not bad. Anyway guys, I've vlogged far too much. I need to put the flour in its container. And I'll probably catch you guys later. If we do make anything, I doubt we will because we have leftover chicken from yesterday. I'm actually making a video that's going to show you guys easy, healthy iftar ideas. 
So I filmed one of it yesterday. I'm just going to film it as I go along and put it together and share it with you guys. I think you'll really enjoy that. Um, so we're just having leftovers today, inshallah. So there won't be any cooking from me, but there will be, inshallah, maybe tomorrow or the day after. Just, just keep an eye out. Okay. Malik and I just munched that. <laughs> and I actually told him that the seeds in here give you muscles and make you super strong. And guess what? Totally believed it. <laughs> And um, totally ate it. Anyway, I forgot about these guys. I need to put them in the fridge. This is what happens when Mali comes to food shop with us. Where should it go? Okay, in the fruit section. Well, hello from me and my duvet. <laughs> yes, I'm in bed. Because I'm bloody tired. My body's aching. I'm trying to relax and just chill for a bit my body has been going through a lot guys um, my husband started training me because he's a gym goer he goes five times a week <laughs> that's besides the point the point is that he started training me and I'm telling you guys right the workouts I'm doing are stuff that you can do at home boy does like my whole body's aching and I don't know why I thought it'd be a good idea to go for a jog I went for a jog yeah and uh, my legs are dead they were dead long time ago before i decided to go for the jog then um i decided i'd come home and run up and down the stairs for about 15 minutes did that like my my legs felt like they were wobbling basically when i was going down the stairs i felt like i was gonna tip all over so i stopped now i'm just <laughs> trying to not walk so much because my legs are aching anyway i'm hungry i was this close to ordering uber eats mcdonald's but it closes at 8 and it's currently 8.10 so I'm glad that it's closed because then I don't have to waste my money and I'm actually making food because we went food shopping like sometimes I just think to myself what are you thinking you just went to do a food shop spent so much money over 100 pounds and you went to order food but guys you know me if I get something in my head, an idea into my head, I just have to do it, I suppose. But I'm glad, alhamdulillah, that McDonald's is closed. Uh, and now I'm making food for myself, and I'll show you guys what I'll make, of course. So I'll include it. I've just put in chili cheese bites in the oven. They're from Asda. But, um, once I start making the food, because we have chicken leftover from yesterday, or the day before, I don't remember. I'll show you guys. I've included it in this recipe video that I'm doing that I told you guys I'm doing. So you guys will see a more in-depth video. Eat inshallah. But for now, let me just chill. Let me just relax in bed. Oh, it feels nice to be in bed. Anyway, catch you in a bit, yeah? I think I overdid it just a tad bit. What do you think? <laughs> now, I'm just going to take the ciabatta bread. Show one Ta -da! Oh, oh my goodness. This is what my husband's eating. Honestly, it doesn't look that big on camera, but this thing is huge. There's so much chicken in here. And um, he's using up the leftover beans that I told him that's gone off. He's washed the sauce of it and chucked it on top. <laughs> oh. That's mine. Mine looks a bit nicer, doesn't it? And he's going to have four of these. I'm going to have one. And that's it. That is his iftar. If you don't have a panini maker, right, this is what you do. <laughs> you put foil, obviously, under this. And then it basically weighs it down and presses it down. I'll show you what it looks like after, but yeah. There's a hack for you. You don't need to buy absolutely every equipment out there, okay? Just do your little DIY stuff like this. <laughs> My husband actually taught me this. There we go. See, it's pressing it down nicely. Ta-da! I swear this is so simple, but so, so tasty. And you can literally add whatever you want in here. Jalapenos, gherkins, you name it. But because obviously, I put in those chili cheese bites. It's got cheese in there, and it's also got the kick. And I also added some peri-peri sauce in the bread. So, yeah, you don't need to add extra cheese and stuff. Listen. Imagine how crispy that's going to be. Anyway, that's my husband's monstrosity, the big wrap thing. We have sat down to eat now. This is my panini. Please let's not watch this. They're frozen. 
Burn that. As bad as we've been in our years of friendship, and it's past I'm hoping to rely on kindness, communication, and the goodwill of strangers. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I have no idea what this is. Bits and bobs, but thank you for watching nonetheless, and um, I'll catch you in my next one, which is tomorrow, inshallah. Take care. Bye.